ज्ञान ध्यान किस कर्म न जाना नाहिन निर्मल करनी साध संगत कै अंचल लाभ हो बिखम नदी जाए दरनी ज्ञान ध्यान किस कर्म न जाना सार न जाना तेरी सब ते वड्डा सतगुरु नानक जिन कल राखी मेरी मैं मूर्ख की के तक बात है कोट परादी तरया रे गुरु नानक जिन सुनया ते खिया से फिर गर्भास ना परया रे तेरे जोर मैं गंगा कहता हूं तेरा सदका तेरी शरण तन तन सतगुरु पतत पावन भगत वत्सल कृपा दे खजाने ज्योत रूप धन श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी दी गुरु खालसा साथ संगत जी वी ब्लेस्ड वी गदर हियर टुडे फ्रॉम द अर्ली आवर्स ऑफ दिस मॉर्निंग द अमृत वेला व्हेन वी हैव पार्टेकन इन कंटिन्यूअल सुखमणी साहिब दे पाठ before completing grahara sahib and ardas and listening listening to hari jas kirtan in the remembrance of the mother of the khalsa tan mata sahib kaur ji we blessed to be celebrating the coming of mata sahib kaur in the presence of tan sri guru granth sahib ji the king of kings the lord god who is the giver of our life the organizer of our life and the deliverer of our life delivering us back into themselves so we can break free from the 8.4 million birth and death life cycle finding eternal peace by becoming one with the kal purv wahai guru i've been asked to share the history of mata sahib kaur ji as we celebrate the gurpurbs of our gurus we celebrate the shahidi devices of our shaheed singhs and singaniya at the same time for the last few years our bibiya have got together to celebrate the coming of tan mata sahab kaur ji to describe or share the history of the jeevan of tan mata sahab kaur ji we must first see why she had to come what was the reason of her coming to this world and to do that we've got to look at a previous jug a previous age so we live this age is called kaljug and in a previous age there was a king and the king had no sons or daughters and in those days what they would do to ask for something how they would worship god or their way would be to do what we call jaga karna or yaga karna and what would that what that entailed was to feed many villages many cities many towns under obviously whichever towns and cities they ruled over after that jag this king had a daughter his daughter's name was dulno devi or dulno devi and she was born in the previous ages in treta and dwapar there were many battles many wars and she was born at the time when a battle was going on a war was going on and as she grew older as she spent time she would do a lot of worship of akal purv wahai guru because she was born from her father's binti to wahai guru by serving his towns and cities by giving them langar she would worship akal purv wahai guru another name for wahai guru mahakal kal meaning time mahakal meaning the greatest of time time kal meaning death so the killer of time the maker of time is a kal purv wahai guru so another name for wahai guru is mahakal so she would worship mahakal and over her time she began this ichha that she wanted union with mahakal and in those days in these battles and these wars the wars and battles were against what we call dantas or demons now if we read our grants 
dance have been described and they weren't humans they were like demons or rashes that another word we use for them they could be six seven eight feet tall they would look different to humans but the wars would be between the good and the evil and the evil would be the dance these demons and at one such time in her meditation Mahakal gave her darshan so Mahakal meaning a Kal Prabhupada Guru in whichever form gave her darshan and she asked for that union and Mahakal said to Dullo Devi that if you can kill this Dant in this battle then I will take you as my wife Dullo Devi was unable to kill that Dant was unable to kill him and Mahakal had to come again to kill that Dant in again Mahakal Akal Prabhupada who came in a form and killed that demon himself and because she couldn't she couldn't complete the button of Akal Prabhupada Guru Mahakal Mahakal refused to take her as his wife in that form obviously she was very saddened and she continued worshipping the Lord worshipping Akal Prabhupada Guru because Akal Prabhupada Guru is the most compassionate and if we pray or worship the Lord then whatever our desires are whether they be materialistic worldly whether they be spiritual the Kaal Purgavahai Guru the Lord God and in this age and Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji they always fulfill our desires as time passed obviously with the rules of the world Dullon Devi passed away not being able to complete her wish of being in union with Mahakal Akal Prakavahi Guru. Now, some Guru Sikhs say that at that point Mahakal said that if you continue or I will grant your wish in your next life. So, we continue further on the coming of Tan Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji. Now, Tan Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji came to this world to save his own creation. Akal Prakavahi Guru God had to come, create a form for himself, the first form being Tan Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji, to save his creation so they can be broken free from the 8.4 million birth and death life cycle. And obviously, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji came in 10 forms, and now the 11th form is the form of Gurbani Tan Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji spread their Sikhi far and wide, they traveled nearly all over the world. They came, which we now to in a place in Pakistan, which we now know as Nankana Sahib. But as they travelled, they even travelled to a village called Rohotas, which is in the district of Jhelum in Pakistan. And they spread their Sikhi there. And so Sikhi was present in that village, even after Tan Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji left this world. And over time. The Sikhs of that village obviously would sing the praises. There came a time in the time of the 10th Lord, the 10th Guru, Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji. When in that village, a family, a father or a, a person named Pai Ramma Ji or Pai Ramu Ji, history tells us sometime, in some places, with their wife, Mata Just Devi or Just Devi, they promised that they would give their children to the sanctuary of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji because they were childless at that point and they were asking for a child. They never visited Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji, but from where they were, because Sikhi had continued since Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji, and they would sing the praises of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji, the Guru at that time. They would sing the praise of Akal Prabhupada Guru as commanded by Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji many many years earlier to that village. They would go to the Taram Salla, which we now call Gurdware and do Saad Sangat. And in their minds they asked for a child and they said they would give their child to the sanctuary of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji. They were blessed with a daughter. They named their daughter Sahib Deva and obviously we know as Mata Sahib Deva and later on to become Mahata Sahib Deva Kaur. And even though she was a girl, because in those days 
giving sons was easier, and even in this day and age, than giving a daughter away. The only way they could give their daughter away was by giving their daughter in marriage to Akal Purkwahe Guru's form, Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji. And Mata Sahib Deva was actually in their next life this Bibi Dullon Dei who had worshipped Akal Purkwahe Guru to be one with them, to have union with them, to marry them. And from a young age, Mata Sahib Deva, just as they did in their previous life, would worship Akal Purkhavahai Guru by singing their praises, by repeating their name. They were constantly devoted in meditation to Akal Purkhavahai Guru. Akal Purkhavahai Guru or Mahakal in that time was in the form of Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji. And as they grew older, they, as every Sikh does in this day and age, they would learn the Sakya of the previous Gurus. They would learn, the, learn from the Sakya of the Matava that had come bef before, like Mata Kiwi Ji, Mata Ganga Ji. And they would put those Sakya into their Jeevan. What they'd heard, the Sikhi, Sikhya, that they'd heard as they were growing older, they would implement it into their life, into their Jeevan. The biggest Sikhya they gained was the Sikhya of meditation, repeating the name of the Lord. They had that blessing from their previous life, and then the next Sikhya was doing Seva of the Sangat. And they, from a young age, they would repeat the name of the Lord and they would partake in the Seva of the Saad Sangat in that Taramsalla of their village. Now, her, their father had already told the villagers and the Sikhs of that time that they are going to give their daughter up to the sanctuary of Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji. And Mata Sahib Deva in her mind, with her Icha, her desires, as they continued from her previous life, though Sanskar continued, she would only want to marry Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji, Mahakal, in that time. And her Icha developed as she meditated and contemplated more and more, as she did more Seva. And in her village, the Saad Sangat, it is said in history, started calling her Mata even when she was a young girl because it, the Sharda of that village, the Sharda of her parents and more importantly the Sharda of herself and the Karam that she had brought forward, the Bhakti that she had brought forward made the Sangat call her Mata because they had so much Sharda that she would one day marry Mahakal and Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji. As time developed Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji, as history tells us, had their Ananda Karaj with Bibi Ajit Kaur Ji in Guru Ke Lahore. And in 1699, when the Khalsa was formulated and pargat into this world officially, Bibi Ajit Kaur, at that time when Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji took the heads of the Panj Pyare and then prepared Khande Bhatte Da Amrat and made them immortal by bringing them back to life. It was Bibi Ajit Kaur who put the Patase in the Bhatta of Amrat, which took place in 1699. Mata Sahib actually came to this world in 1681. And when she was 19, so in 1700, she was of a marriageable age. So the villagers of Rohtas, her parents, brought herself and her brother who was named Saheb Chand to the sanctuary of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji. So in history, we have this misconception that Mata Sahib Deva Kaur put the Patase in the Amrda Bhatta. But Mata Sahib Deva and her family for the first time did the darshan of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji in the year 1700. And it was in 1699 that the Amrda Bhatta was first prepared Khande Bhatte Da Amrata Bhatta. And actually Bibi Ajit Kaur left this world and her place of cremation is still present in Sri Anandapur Sahib. So Bibi Ajit Kaur and Mata Sahib Kaur were two different people. Anyway, in 1700, the villagers 
the parents and Mata Sahib Deva along with their brother themselves came to Sri Anandpur Sahib, the sanctuary of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji. And they spent five days there. And the father of Mata Sahib Deva, when they came to the sanctuary of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji Mahakal, had shared his Icha and his daughter's Icha for these previous 19 years and the one or two years before when they promised that they would give their children to Guru Sahib Ji and said that our son can stay in your Sangat but our daughter, we want to give you our daughter and we want you, Guru Sahib Ji, to take her hand in marriage. Now Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji had already four Sahib Jadde. Sahib Ajit Singh Ji, Sahib Jujar Singh Ji, Sahib Jorabar Singh Ji and Sahib Baba Fateh Singh Ji. And Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji at first declined, saying, I've already been married and I have four Sahib Jadde. And so the summer now is about to change. Because Guru Sahib Ji was all knowing, they are the form of a Kalpur Kuhai Guru and they knew what was going to come afterwards. They would have to give their four Sahib Jadde. They would then have only a few more years in terms of their form left on the earth from 1700 to 1708. And there was many things to do to leave the Khalsa Panth in order so they could continue as we have done over these last 300 years plus. So Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji declined. But the Icha, the worship, the Bhakti, the meditation, the Seva was so great that Tan Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji, as they do with any Gursik, had to fulfill the desires of Mata Sahib Deva. The Saad Sangra there, when they came into the sanctuary, all took Amrat. And it was there that Mata Sahib Deva was then to become Mata Sahib Kaur or Mata Sahib Deva Kaur. Along with the other villages, Singh and Kaur were adjoined to their names and they had partaken in the Amrat ceremony while they stayed there for those five days. Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji accepted that Mata Sahib Deva Kaur, they would take them as their wife. But they said that they had left the material way, the worldly ways, and they had become Brahmachari. In other words, they would not partake in any physical relationship with Mata Sahib Deva. And Mata Sahib Deva Kaur accepted, and her parents accepted, and her hand in marriage was given to Mahakal, the King of Kings, the tenth form of Sri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji, the tenth form of Akal Purkh Bhai Guru, Tan Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji. And then as time went on, Mata Sahib Deva Kaur, how would she live her life as the wife of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji? As history tells us, she would never eat before Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji ate. She would do the seva of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji by washing that charan. Now, Pai Gurdas Sahib Ji tells us themselves that when any Gursikh comes, the way to treat a Gursikh is to by doing their seva, by washing their hands and feet, by feeding them prashadde. And Mata Sahib Kaur had learned all this Gursikhi from her since she came to this world. And she knew how to serve not only who was the Lord, the master of all creation, but her husband. And she would do the seva of her husband, Lord, not eating until they had eaten and doing their seva devotionally. But there came a time, just as Mata Ganga Ji did, when Mata Ganga Ji didn't have a child, the Mahal of Tan Sri Guru Arjan Dev Sahib Ji. Mata Ganga Ji had gone to Sri Guru Arjan Dev Sahib Ji and asked for a child who would later become Tan Sri Guru Hargobin Sahib Ji as Baba Buddha Sahib Ji blessed them. So Mata Sahib Kaur, even though they'd accepted that there would be no physical relationship and there was no chance for any more Sahib Jadde, because Guru Sahib Ji had stated that, Mata Sahib Kaur still had this Icha. And she knew from all the previous Sakya, all the Sikhi Sikhya she'd had, that even Mata Ganga Ji asked, all Guru Sikhs asked, Even, I've lost, I've forgotten their names now, the father of Pai Pagtu and the mother of Pai Pagtu, who were Gursikhs 
of the time of Sri Guru Ramadas Sahib Ji, the fourth Guru of the Sikhs. They were of very old age. And even they asked for a child because they were childless for a long, long time. And even though Mata Sahib Kaur would still do the seva of the Char Sahib Jadde, would still treat them as her own. Every, as history says, every mother would want a maternal child of their own. And she wanted a blessing of her own. Now that doesn't in any way show that she didn't treat the Sahib Jadde as her own. It's just an itcha. And maybe it's a sikhya for us that again we can get everything if we ask from the Guru. So Mata Sahib Deva Kaur asked Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji to give her bless her with a child. Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji again stated that my time of Sahib Jadde is over. But Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji blessed Mata Sahib Kaur with not just being the mother of the Sahib Jadde but being the mother of the whole Khalsa Pant. So she got blessed all that Bhakti, all that Seva, all that Sangat, all that Simran. Her desire was quenched because not only was she given one child, she was, giving, she was given a whole fant, a whole community, all of the Khalsa, which included, included Guru Sikhs like Baba Deep Singh Sahib Ji, which included the Char Sahib Jade themselves, and over time, which includes us. So she is the eternal mother, Tan Mata Sahib Kaur, of all the Khalsa Pant. And just like a mother looks after her child, Tan Mata Sahib Kaur always looks after her Pant. And just as a child can cry to her mother, it gives us the opportunity to cry to Mata Sahib Kaur if we need something. And Mata Sahib Kaur from that time till now and for eternity will always look out for her Khalsa Pant, her children. As time went on and the Mughals and the Pahari Raja attacked Sri Anandpur Sahib and Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji left Sri Anandpur Sahib. And as they travelled towards Kirtapur Sahib and there's a Guru Kar there called Vishoda Sahib where the Vade Sahib Jadde was split because they continued with Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji to Chamakaur Sahib Da Jang and the Shote Sahib Jadde with Mata Gujari Ji was separated and they were obviously arrested at Sarhand and the Shote Sahib Jadde we know they were bricked alive. And Mata Gujri Ji gave up their life in the Thanda Burj. But the Mahals of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji, Mata Sahib Deva Kaur and Mata Sundar Kaur were sent with Pai Mani Singh Ji to Delhi to be safe. And they stayed there. And after the Jang of Chamakaur Sahib, after the Shote Sahib Jadde becoming Shaheed, messages had reached our Matawa that the Sahib Jadde, all four Sahib Jadde have become Shaheed. And Pai Mani Singh Ji brought them back to where Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji had now been at Sri Damadama Sahib, the fifth, uh, the fourth takht of the Khalsa Pant. And there they asked Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji, our Sahib Jadde, is it true? Have they become Shaheed? And it was there that Tan Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji, just behind Takht Sahib Ji, there's a Guru Kar just behind Takht Sri Damadama Sahib Ji and Baba Deep Singh's Bunga, where this actually occurred. And Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji replied, Char Mue To Ke Aap Aya Jeevat Kai Hajar In Puttra Ke Sees Par Var Diye Sut Char So I've given my four. Char Mue To Kya Hua Jeevat Kai Hajar So it doesn't matter that these four have been given that there's hundreds of thousands of my children still around and they obviously are the Khalsa Pant because Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji is the father of the Khalsa and Mata Sahib Kaur is the mother of the Khalsa. As time passed, Mata Sahib Kaur would continue giving the Sikhya as she had seen or she had heard that Mata Gujari Ji gave the Shote Sahib Jadde, that they must never leave their faith, that they must stay strong, that it doesn't matter what Lalaj you are given, no matter what you are offered materialistically, you follow in the way of your forefathers your forefathers being your father, the warrior Tan Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji, your grandfather who gave his seeds for human rights, your great grandfather who was a true warrior Sri Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji. So Mata Sahib Kaur took that Sikhi Sikhya 
And because she was the mother of the Khalsa, she would continue to give that kind of sikhya to the Khalsa Panth. That you never give up your sikhi. You never follow society. You follow the teachings of the Guru, of your father, Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji. And it's from these teachings we should live our lives. Because Amata is telling us that every day. Amata is saying through her jeevan that we shouldn't give up on the teachings of Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji and our master now Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji then traveled south, Aurangzeb died through the Jafar Namma that Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji recited and their sons were battling for power over the Mughal Raj. Bahadur Shah had come to the sanctuary of Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji and wanted their support. Our Matawa were in Delhi, but Mata Sahib Kaur wanted to travel with Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji to Hajur Sahib. Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji had said to Mata Sahib Kaur that there could be opportunities of having another jang, another battle. Would you be willing to partake in it? And Mata Sahib Kaur, as she always said, I would be willing to do whatever your command would be. Just as my Khalsa Panth are giving their lives, I could give my life for the Panth as well. And she travelled with Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji to Tak Sach Khansri Hajur Sahib, where first Guru Sahib Ji stopped, arrested at what the place called is Pasamat Nagar, which is just outside of Nandir. And then as Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji travelled through those jungles, because that area was all jungles, they reached a place called Hirakat. That's what the Guru Gurukar is called there. And Bahadur Shah there tried to test Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji. The river Godavari goes behind that Gurukar and they threw a diamond in the river to test Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji to see if they would be wavered by materialism. But when Guru Sahib Ji took Bahadur Shah, actually Bahadur Shah saw hundreds and thousands of Hire and Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji said, you threw one in there, even these hundreds and thousands of Hire that are in the Godavari, they do not waver the Khalsa. And from there, Guru Sahib Ji would go on a hunt. And the hunt they went on was to save a Gursikh in the times of Siri Guru Nanak Dev Sahib Ji, Mullah Khatri, who had become a rabbit. And Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji went to do his Udar in the Gurudwara now called Shikar Ghat. As they were traveling into those jungles to do that hunting, Mata Sahib Kaur stayed, as she continued with from Hira Ghat, she found a place, as history tells us, where she had done Pagti in her previous life. And that Gurdara now is called Gurdana Mata Sahib Devankor. And the Seva is in, in the charge of Gurmukh Pyare Baba Prem Singh Ji. And Mata Sahib Kaur would stay there as Guru Sahib Ji would do their Katha Kirtana Hira Kaat. This is before actually they went into the center of Hajur Sahib as we know it, where Langar Sahib is and where Tak Sach Khand Sri Hajur Abchal Nagar Sahib Ji is when they left the world. This is before that time they spent days at Hira Kaat doing Katha Kirtan and Mata Sahib Deva Kaur was at where we know the Gurdara Mata Sahib Deva. Amata Sahib Deva Kaur continued to do the seva of the Khalsa at that place. Just like Mata Khivi Ji used to do, the Mahal of Sri Guru Angad Dev Sahib Ji. Now we know from Gurbani that Mata, Sahib, uh, Mata Khivi Ji would make kheer for her Gursikhs, would kheer for the Saad Sangat, and do their seva, and put kyo in the kheer, and feed that to the Saad Sangat. Even though her husband Lord, Sri Guru Angad Dev Sahib Ji was the Guru, Mata Khivi Ji knew that Gursikhi is through the seva of the Saad Sangat. And by doing that seva, she would bless the Saad Sangat. And at the same time, that would be the Sikhya for the other Gursikhs. That seva of the Saad Sangat is very important and seva of the Gursikhs. And she wouldn't treat anybody different. High and low came into the Langar. And Mata Khivi Ji actually stayed until I think the times of Sri Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji. That's when she, Mata Khiviji left this world. And Mata Sahib Kaur had learned all of those things through her upbringing. And so she, uh, Mata Sahib Deva Kaur, the Gurdwara, she stayed there. And as Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji used to come back, she would feed Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji. And she would feed the Khalsa army and feed the Saad Sangat. And as Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji continued inward, 
to where Langar Sahib is and where they would meet Baba Banda Singh Bahadur, Mata Sahib Kaur actually stayed at that Asthan to feed the Sangat as they would pass through, through the jungles and as they would go on a hunt. Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji then gave hukam to Mata Sahib Kaur to go back to Delhi where Mata Sundari Ji was. And Mata Sahib Kaur would not eat, like I said, without doing the darshan of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji, without doing their seva and without giving the langar to Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji. And she didn't want to leave. She wanted to continue doing the seva of her husband Lord. But she followed the hukam of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji. Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji gave her five shastra. A khanda, a karpan, two jamadars and a khanjar. And those five shastra were the shastra of Sri Guru Har Gobind Sahib Ji. Miri Pirele Malik and Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji said that if you do the darshan of these every morning you will see my darshan in the Shastra again given a Sikhya because Guru Sahib Ji's darshan won't necessarily be in those Shastra Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji's darshan is in any Shastra if we have the Sharda Pavana so Mata Sahib Kaur took those Shastra to Delhi where she stayed and where she stayed till uh, for 66 years of her life in 1647 she left this earth Many, many years after Sri Guru, sorry, 1747, many, many years after Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji left this earth, she stayed at Delhi. Now, Mata Sahib Deva Kaur would do the seva of those Shastra daily. She would do the seva and obviously from there she would get the darshan, her thirst would be quenched through those five Shastra. Again, given us Sikhya, that even doing seva of Shastra now, we... If we have that Sharda, we can do the Darshan of Guru Sahib Ji through the Shastra. Mata Sahib Deva Kaur, even after that time, he said that Baba Banda Singh Bahadur did Darshan of Mata Sahib Deva Kaur before he went into battle in Sarhand and did the Fateh of Sarhand. But Mata Sahib Deva Kaur still loved her Khalsa Panth and still gave them Sikhya. He said that she had nine Hukam Namme she sent to various Guru Sikhs by Alam Singh Ji the descendants of Pai Rupa Ji, the Guru Sikhs of the times of Sri Guru Arjan Dev Sahib Ji, Guru Ram Das Sahib Ji, she sent Hukam Namme to the families of the Sikh Panth that were the sort of close families of the Gurus to give them Sikhya, to give them order. And she would always in those Hukam Namme describe that Khalsa Panth has been Piyara, Piyara to her because she was their mother. Now, through the Sakhiya, the history of Mata Sahib Kaur. I don't really want to share any of my views because it's easy to see through her history, through any Sakhi of Guru Sahib Ji, what the meaning is. How did Mata Sahib Kaur live her life? What did she do? She devoted it completely to her husband, Lord Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji, to Mahakal, Akal Purko Hai Guru. She did the Seva of the Saad Sangat because she knew Every khushi, every happiness is through the seva of the Saad Sangat. She continued meditated on the name of the Lord. And she followed every command to the letter of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji and afterwards Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Basically, just even those four teachings, she, that's what Mata Sahib God did just through her history. We've seen that. And if we partake those into our lives, then just like Mata Sahib Deva Kaur gained everything, gained her ultimate desire, her ultimate wish, there's no reason why we can't. Now at that Gurdwara, Langar still continues at that Gurdwara. And it is said that when you go to Hajur Sahib, your Yatra is only separately if you will visit the Gurukar of Mata Sahib Deva Kaur. And you partake in Langar and maybe if you wish, do some Langar Adi Seva there while you're there. Her Pagati Asthan has been built there where continual Mool Mantar De Paat continue. And even if you go there now, you can possibly get darshan of the Singhs who stay there, who continue to do the seva of the Mool Mantar part. And you can spend some time in that Ora side where Mata Sargor did her bhakti in her previous life and where obviously she would do the seva of the Saad Sangar and Tan Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji. So when you go to Tak Sach Khan Sri Hidur Sahib, it's very important to go to Mata Ji. Now, this, this history that I've shared has come from what history our grants tell us, but also from listening to Santa Gani Jarnail Singh Khalsa. Now, Santa Jarnail Singh Ji, 
whenever they used to go to Hajur Sahib, they would take the jatha, their jatha of sins and spend some time on Mata Sahib Deva Kaur's Gurdara. And they would command all their Sikhs in their jatha to do a lot of bhakti there. They weren't allowed to talk much anyway, but they were specifically told to do a lot of bhakti at that asthan. Specific, first they would go and do bhakti at that Sachkhan Sri Hajur Sahib, the place named Sachkhan where our father Stan Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib left this world and then they would move over to Mata Sahib Devan Kaur's Gurdara which is a few kilometers away and they would do bhakti specifically there. And what Santaji used to say is when you go to Hajur Sahib you are asking from your father, you want your desires to be quenched and sometimes Due to the hukum of Akal Pakhubhai Guru, our father saves some of his gifts back because our father, a father knows when to give gifts to his child. And sometimes you get everything at once, sometimes it's given slowly. And Santaji used to say, if your father is not blessed, if you feel your father is not blessing you quick enough, then maybe you have to ask your mother. Because your mother will then speak to your father, just like it happens in the worldly sense. You go and cry to your mother. And your mother will speak to your father and maybe then your father will give you what you want quicker. And they would take special attention to get the same to bhakti at Langar's Mata Sahib Deva Kaur Guru Kar. So it's a Sikhya even for us now. Whenever we go to Hajur Sahib, maybe we spend some time with our father and then spend some time with our mother. And then whatever we ask for materialistically, worldly or more importantly spiritually, we will always get. That is the history of Mata Sahib Kaur. If I've made any mistakes or offended anybody in sharing that, I beg for forgiveness. I'm just like yourselves, part of the Sahib Sangha, trying to live in the ways of what Guru Sahib Ji laid down for us. Mata Sahib Kaur is always there. Just like we know that Guru Sahib Ji is with us all the time, our mother is always with us all the time. And like I said, if we feel we're not getting anywhere with our father, and that's not being disrespectful. We always have our mother and our mother and father together. If we follow their teachings, will give us their complete kushiya, their complete blessings, and we will ultimately find eternal peace being saved from the 8.4 million birth and death life cycle, and we'll join with them, and we'll have that eternal peace. I pray, Tan Siri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji, Tan Amata Sahib Gaur Ji, Tan Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji, that He forgives us all for any of our ways, and bless us all with Gursikiri Dad and those blessings so we can find that eternal peace while we're living. So this world for us would be a better place. Deho Sajana Sichariya, Johuga Sahajamel, Lekha Katahana Shutiya, Kenti Pulan Har, Baksan Har Baksala, Nanakaparatar, Wahi Gujiga Khalsa, Wahi Gujiki Fateh.